In this video, we're going to look at circles and triangles where we have to calculate some of the angles. Now, when you have examples like this, you should either be looking for right angles, and other videos will talk about that, or look for isosceles triangles. Now, isosceles triangles come about in uh, circles when you have two sides are radii, because obviously they are the same length. So here, for instance, that's the same length as that one. Now, I can start working some things out. So this angle here is going to be 180 minus 56, because they, those two angles add up to be this one, and this one add up to be 180. So this is going to be um, 124. So this angle here is 124. Well, what we know is that this angle here is going to be the same as this one here, because we've got an isosceles triangle. So A is going to be 180 minus 124. All over 2. So that's going to be 56 over 2, which if I do that, uh, 2 into 5 goes twice with uh, 1 left over, is 28 degrees. So A is 28 degrees. Let's look at our next example here. So I'm looking for radii. So that's a radii, that's a radii, that's a radii. So I have two isosceles triangles. So if this here is 49, A is must also be 49. So I'm going to work out what C is, because C is going to be 180 minus two lots of 49. And if I do that, you're going to get C is 82. Now, once I know C, I can work out what E is, because of uh, C plus E is 180. So E is going to be 180 minus 82, which gives me 98. So that's uh, E. So move up a little bit of space. Now, B and D will add together to be the rest of 180. So to work out B or D, I would do 180 minus E, would be what they're both worth, and then divide by 2. So it's going to be 82 over 2, so that's 41. So B and D are 41. 